Hi, welcome back to Storytime with Gigi. Today we're going to be reading another story about Angelina Ballerina. The story today is called Angelina on Stage. She's got her little crown on. Story is by Katherine Holliburg. Illustrations by Helen Craig. Oops. Angelina's cousin Henry liked to go to her ballet lessons at Miss Lily's and join in the dancing. Henry always followed close behind Angelina, copying her graceful steps, but he wiggled and wobbled and didn't look like a ballet dancer at all. Guess we can tell which one is Henry, can't we? After each class, Angelina showed Henry the right way to do the plies and arabesques and twirls. But Henry kept on dancing in his own funny way. Then one day, Miss Lily received a letter from Mr. Popoff, the great musical director. Angelina, said her ballet teacher, how would you like to be a magic fairy in a real grown-up's ballet? Angelina was thrilled. Oh, yes, she cried. It's called the Gypsy Queen, said Miss Lily excitedly. Then she turned to Henry. Mr. Popoff needs a little elf, too, and you are the perfect size. Hooray, shouted Henry. But Angelina just crossed her fingers for good luck, hoping he wouldn't do anything too silly. At rehearsals, Angelina learned to fly through the air with a special wire attached to her costume so that she looked like a fairy floating down out of the sky. Henry was supposed to scamper through the woods below looking for the fairy, but he often got mixed up and went the wrong way. All the actors and actresses adored Henry anyway, and during the breaks, the lovely Madame Zizi gave him little treats in her dressing room. Then Mr. Popoff decided that Henry should, stay, should say something on stage, and Angelina felt very jealous. Everyone cheered when Henry came on stage and said in his little squeaky voice, There goes my friend, the magic fairy. But he was not so good at finding his way from the dressing room to the stage and was always getting lost. On the night of the first performance, everyone backstage was very excited. Angelina waited in the wings with her crown on and her wand ready as the audience crowded into the theater and the orchestra began to play. Madame Zizi glanced around nervously and said, Oh dear, where's my little elf?
that him? Angelina ran wildly through the corridors looking for Henry. and bumped into him as he was running the wrong way down the hall. I got lost again, Henry sobbed, as Angelina grabbed his hand and raced back to the stage. Angelina had her special wire fastened just in time, she soared up over the trees, waving her magic wand as Henry jumped out from the wings and skipped through the woods to the front of the stage. Henry turned and saw the theater filled with lights and a sea of strange faces. He couldn't open his mouth. He just stared out at the audience. For an awful moment, nothing happened. Serves him right, thought Angelina, still feeling annoyed. But when she looked down and saw how terrified Henry looked, she felt very sorry for him. Angelina waved her magic wand and called to Henry in a loud, clear voice. Hello, little elf. Can you see me? Henry looked up with relief and said, there goes my best friend, the magic fairy. At the end of the show, Angelina and Henry took a curtain call with all the actors and dancers. The audience cheered and clapped, and the director thanked everyone for a wonderful performance. Madame Zizi gave Angelina some of her own roses, and Mr. Popoff smiled at her and said, You're a fine actress, and you'll have a speaking part, too, from now on. Angelina was so pleased that she took Henry by the hands and waltzed around the stage with him until they were both very dizzy. And that's our story. I hope you liked it. Make sure that you like and subscribe and share with your friends so we can all enjoy our stories together. Bye until next time.